TJ Dillashaw now tying Dominic Cruz with 12. Uh, Jimmy, let's talk about these highlights, though. It uh, really was an incredible fight for as long as it lasted. TJ Dillashaw once again defeating Cody Garbrandt. Well, we could show the whole fight again. It was that quick. But it seemed like the whole thing was a highlight, and there was so much intensity in everything they were throwing. The speed of Cody Garbrandt from the beginning throwing power punches, and it seemed as though TJ wanted to make a statement, wasn't showing all the angles we had seen in the first fight. He wanted to stay in the pocket, like he said, throw power punches and that's exactly what he did. Caught Cody coming in, and once he had him hurt, man, the finishing instincts, never letting him off the hook and getting the knockout, great stuff. But the rest of the division, he, he looked scary before. The rest of the division definitely on notice. Yeah. He definitely looked scary in that fight. You know, one thing that, he, he, that stuck out to me in that fight was just, you know, he stayed in the pocket, got wide, and he just kept chucking leather. He, he, he didn't stop. He just stayed there and got wide and kept throwing leather. And that's pretty difficult, especially when you're going against a guy who has the ability, like Cody Garbrandt, to put you out if he just catch you one time. And remember, TJ can wrestle, too. He didn't even need huh? to use that what? tonight. It's like, <laughs> he can wrestle?